Hello, my inquisitive friends, and welcome back to Alien Protocols. So, I drew a large portrait uh, here of a bunch of very prominent UFO cases and, I guess, stories and effects from CE5 to cattle mutilation and abductions to the Tic Tacs, to nuclear interactions, to uh, crashes, to secret bases in mountains, uh, to Cash Landrum incident, uh, the Phoenix Lights, Black Triangles, uh, portals, and of course a bunch of small UFOs that come together to form a giant city-destroying creature. Well, that one hasn't happened yet. <clears throat> but I figured this uh, over 10 little ideas was a good place to talk about something we've explored before, but certainly is worthy of revisiting. And I wanted to explore with you guys the most logical UAP origins. There's no doubt that these things exist. Basic research, even at this point, will tell you that something advanced and unknown is going on. And we're not talking about our own black projects, despite the fact that they may be so much more advanced than we would ever imagine. So let's run down a few of these, shall we? Of course, one of the most logical origins is that these are non-solar system extraterrestrials. They all could have come from just one probe that comes into the solar system and watches and can build factories and has innumerable protocols for almost any outcome. That seems very, very logical to me, something that humans might do in the future. But this could be some sort of solar system advanced intelligence. It could have been a civilization that was on Mars. You know, we often forget how deep the past is, even in our own solar system. So there certainly could have been life on Mars millions of years ago, <clears throat> or Venus. Another possibility is they could have come from Earth's past. An advanced intelligence from Earth's past. Maybe human, maybe something else. You know, modern humans have been around for 200,000 years. And civilization has only been around maybe, as far as we know, as far back as maybe 10,000 years. Something to think about. This could be some sort of bizarre natural earth phenomena. Some sort of intelligence that might have sprung out perhaps out of energy and uh, protects the planet or planets. This could be something from the creator's realm, whether it be zookeepers or updates or updaters from uh, the simulation creators, or like Jacques Vallée says, some sort of control system. Of course, there's the very prevalent notion of us from the future, or now even, us from now, but it's a past secret society that has advanced right along with us and hidden right in the open. They could be creations of the mind or co-creations of the mind or minds. Some people have speculated that they are kind of like um, our dreams, their guides that we brought into being by our consciousness. I'm not so sure about just that. I think some stuff is certainly created by the mind or co-created by the mind, extraordinary stuff. But there's so many cases with so many different types of evidence it almost seems like very few single one of these 
have the potential to cover all of the most accurate cases or most validated cases. It could be some sort of meta life form or intelligence. It could be some sort of multi-dimensional, non-temporal, non-spatial kind of a shadow form. Maybe multi-present all over the universe simultaneously. And of course, it could be something from beyond our current understanding. <clears throat> and there are ways to maybe eliminate or reinforce some of these ideas if we just explore some of the best UFO facts. We know that they're interested in certain things. They're interested in nuclear technology. There's no doubt about that. They're interested in the military. There's been many cases in schools. They're certainly interested in dense nature areas. And they're interested in people of a certain consciousness. They seem to display near future technology. Are they guiding us more quickly through our evolution for some reason we don't know? They allow us to see them, which might be part of that guiding us. This is a bizarre one. If you really know how many crashes or have some indication of the many crashes we have recovered, why do they crash so often? And within that, why not be more protective of the technology and the, the biologicals that we have phenomenal reports that are on the craft. Why give us this technology? Is there something incoming that we don't know about? Is this some sort of a test? And why are they in so many different forms? Now this is a very dynamic question because a mystery oftentimes people want to throw all the mysteries into the explanation for one mystery when we could be dealing with several different simultaneously you know our senses have only evolved to see just a tiny sliver of the universe just evolutionarily what we just barely needed to survive and we know from physics that that certainly is not all of the universe Now it takes bravery to talk about and discuss these topics. It takes bravery to make conjectures and to make efforts. And those of you who are advancing the research and study even by failure, you are advancing it for all of us. This stuff is so exciting. It's on the very edges of our understanding. And because of that, all of us can research this and make a difference, which is really cool. And I would love to know your guys' thoughts about this stuff. These are the core issues, and the ramifications seem to be absolutely stupefyingly colossal. I would love to know what you think. Much love. Hey, also, if you like, please support this channel through PayPal, Alien Protocols, all one word, uh, PayPal. And um, if you need any assistance with readings, viewings, remote viewings, healings, tips, any of that, it would be our honor. We don't charge, and so, therefore, donations are greatly appreciated to help others and to further our research. And believe me, gang, this channel and the work I've been able to be blessed to work on and work with different groups, I mean, amazing top groups, aerospace companies, many of you know some of this stuff. And I've been really blessed, really blessed. And I will continue to be one of the very few who operate at this level of repeatability 
and this level of able to garner the evidence of the things I claim. You can just watch the videos on this channel and see everything from effecting shielded compasses to craft to testimonials of many people who've tested my abilities or challenged. So we are making advancements. And I love you guys for being on this journey with me. We are family. Much love.